Hi, in this video, I want to show you three ways you can add pages to your Squarespace website. Now they each have their own kind of pros, reasons you would use them. So I'll talk about that as we go through each one. Uh, today, I'm gonna demo this in my Sway template. It's for sale in my template shop. It is great for service providers, coaches. If you wanna check it out, I'll drop a link below. But let's get started. Let's go ahead and get into our website pages. So you can see here, I have pages in my main navigation, and I also have a couple of pages that are not linked here. Now let's say that my first page that I wanna create is an extra course sales page. Let's say I already have one here for a course number one, and I want to add an additional one for a second course. Now, because these layouts are probably gonna be pretty similar, we're gonna have the same kind of content in each, the easiest way to create that new page is to roll over the existing page and we're gonna duplicate it. Click the cog icon, scroll down and click duplicate page and confirm. Now we're not quite done. You can see it's dropped it here into not linked and it's called course sales page copy. So if I click the cog icon again, it's got a weird URL slug, course dash one, nobody wants that. Let's say that this course is on SEO. Um, so SEO best practices course. And we're gonna call this SEO course. And we're going to call this SEO dash course. Now you'll notice that uh, in the URL slug, I want to have my keywords there with a dash in between the words so that Google can parse them. And you wanna keep it pretty short. So I've got a page title. This is what Google's gonna read as the title of the page. I have a nav title. So if we pop this up in navigation, this is what we'll show there. I want it to be a little shorter. And we've got the URL slug. Now we can click save. And I can drag this up right to the top here. And now we have SEO course here, SEO best practices course. I know I'm in the correct one when I wanna start editing. And now you can just go through and switch out the text and images and enroll links to make this your own. So it is a really simple way to create a new page if you have a page that is similar in layout already. So that was uh, number one, duplicating the page. All right, the second way that you can create a page is to use one of Squarespace's existing page layouts. Now you can pull this from a whole menu of layouts Squarespace is offering, and it's going to create that page using your site style. So your fonts and your colors. So let's say we want to add a team page to our website. We've got a few people working in our agency and we want to show people who they are. So you can click a plus um, add a page here in not linked or in the main nav if you want to go ahead and drop it in. But I always start in not linked and then drag it to main nav when I'm ready. You can go to page layouts here and you can see there are a ton of options. I'm going to hop into team and I really like this layout for mine. It's nice and simple. And you can see it's called team four. Obviously that's not what I want to call it. So I'm going to roll over my settings icon for the page again, and I'm going to call this our team for navigation, our team, and then the URL slug can just be team for this one. Now, one thing I want you to check, there is a little bug sometimes that this SEO title gets filled out with the name of that um, template that you're using. So just double check that there's nothing here. We want it to fill from our general information here and I'll click save. Now this may not be exactly what I want. You'll notice that on these other pages, um, like this course sales page we were on had this nice banner up top. So let me just save this section, exit out of here, go back to our team, go to edit, add a saved section in, and now it's gonna look just like the rest of the pages. I'm gonna delete that and go to our team. Meet the folks behind Sway. And you'll see here when I took off that um, text, everything stayed where it was. That's a fluid engine section. If I hit G, it will show me the grid and I can actually scooch everybody up. Oops. 
I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard to select all of these things underneath and add them up and then go down here and shorten this up. And because it's a fluid engine section, I need to double check it on mobile. Looks great. And now I can save and exit. So that is the number two way to create a new page on Squarespace. You can start with one of Squarespace's templates. So we can drag this up and now we've got our team and the SEO course. Now there is a third way to do this and it is by far the most labor intensive route, but I wanted to show you what you can do. So if you are a freewheeler, you want to just build it the way you want to build it then you can start with a blank page and we'll call this new page here. And let's say that we want to build a media kit. So we'll say media kit, media kit, media dash kit, or we could just call this, mm, no, let's call it media kit. Media would mean like press and stuff. Okay. So now we are here with this empty page and we can go through, we can add sections that we've saved from other parts on our website, or we can add a blank section, or now we can add sections for different things. So we had templates for pages. We also have templates for sections. So let's say I want to add some images here. This looks great. That's going to get me started with the media kit images underneath here. I can create a section and just add blocks for text to talk about articles that I'm in and go from there. So that is the third way to create a page starting from scratch. So in this video, we covered how to create a page in Squarespace. We looked at duplicating a page. If you have one with a similar layout, we looked at using one of Squarespace's templated pages to get you started. And we also looked at using a blank page if you want to just start from scratch. I hope you found this helpful and I wish you all the best with your website.